Quarter past four and all eyes are on Milton making landfall later on this evening. I'm going to show you a couple of live images. The image on the left is from Sarasota. The image on the right from Clearwater Beach. You can see on the right we have the waves crashing up along the shore. But as we zoom in to that Sarasota camera, it's kind of hard to see the water. That's because that's kind of ground zero for where landfall is going to happen. The eye wall is going to move on shore, and that's where we expect some big time wind and storm impacts there as well. Milton right now still several hours away from landfall, but the strength of it has come down a little bit with those max winds, but the size of the storm has been growing throughout the day today. In fact, now we have those tropical storm force winds extending 250 miles across, so that is stretching over a huge territory. And then on the eastern side of the system, as I showed you earlier, we have, of course, those tornado warnings that are still ongoing. But that eye wall right now is offshore by still about kind of 30 miles or so. Right in here, what's starting to push in towards Sarasota and Bradenton, down towards Venice Beach as well, we are starting to see some of those stronger wind gusts moving in, but it's this center eye where the highest wind gusts are going to come from Milton. I put on the single site radar from the Tampa airport so you can also see that better defined eye right there. But all of this heavy rainfall, that's where we start to see the stronger winds picking up there. And then meanwhile to the north, we're already starting to see the outermost showers reaching the Florida Georgia line. So a couple of showers in far southern Georgia. Cloud cover making its way up into about the Macon area over to Augusta, but none of that rain shield should make it far enough north to impact us here in North Georgia. Landfall happening early tonight. Models have been pushing it a little bit further forward, so it'll probably be between 8 and midnight tonight, and then it will move on shore, remaining a hurricane. But it's going to be the northern side of the system that's lopsided with all of the rainfall, so significant flooding possible on, along the uh, I-4 corridor. And through tomorrow morning, some of those tropical rain bands are pushing in towards the Georgia coast as well. But I want to talk about the storm surge, where it's going to be worse. I showed you this a couple of days ago, but with landfall now happening, south of Tampa Bay. This is a better scenario for Tampa and St. Petersburg. The reason why is we have more of these offshore winds there. The greatest storm surge is going to be just south of landfall. So that is through kind of Venice down through Cape Coral and Fort Myers. That's where we see the higher storm surge amounts. You can see for Tampa itself, the inundation mapping has come down a lot. We don't see as much even yellow on this map for greater than three feet of storm surge. So good news there, but worse storm surge expected towards Port Charlotte and Fort Myers as well. And then up across Georgia, we're also expecting some modest storm surge amounts. It'll be around a foot to three feet at most, but also tropical storm force winds possible in Georgia as well. So you can see that wind field, the storm pushing across the state, some of those tropical storm force winds possible there across the southeast coast of Georgia as well. Closer to home, though, sunshine's been building in today. You can see some of the clouds, though, looking south from our tower camera in Atlanta. It's 80 degrees right now, east northeast winds at nine miles per hour. And as we go through the next couple of days, that field Feeling in the air where we have these cooler mornings that is going to be sticking around your forecast for this evening falling back from the 80s through the 70s overnight tonight nice and crisp and chilly out there we will drop down to a low of 58 look at the next couple mornings though low 50s Friday Saturday Sunday morning we're going to keep the sunshine going for the second half of the weekend as well high of 81 by Sunday and then next week watching another front slight chance of rain for that but look at what happens to our high temperatures. We're going to drop it down, crash from the 70s into the 60s for highs Tuesday and Wednesday. Oh, 